Hi all, so we are going to make some poha and it's breakfast poha. So it's going to be um, highly nutritious, it's going to have peanut butter, it's going to have um, apples, as you can see here, cabbage, raisins, this is the peanut butter, so we'll add that in later, um, a bit of salt for seasoning. And um, the reason why I have kind of diverse my way of cooking poha, which is an actual Indian um, Asian dish, um, is because I've had to be on a very strict diet and have no spices and stuff like that for a while. So it's rice flakes and we're going to make it much more of a Western dish. So it's going to be like one of those, like, like a smoothie, um, smoothie bowl or like a muesli bowl, but obviously made from rice. So let's start. I'm going to add some olive oil into the pot. That's why it keeps going down. Yeah, we can use <laughs> olive oil for this. Because it's, um, we have got some coconut oil, but the problem with the coconut oil we have, it doesn't really taste very nice. I mean, I could use it, but it doesn't taste nice. For It's the type of coconut oil it is. It's, yeah. It just doesn't taste very nice. So then we're going to add the apple juice. There it is. This is where we get sliced by the oil. Now we've had to cook on the floor today yeah. because that sausage that we were cooking at before has stopped working. And this being India, I'm afraid that's what happened. So we can stir that a bit with the portion because it's very soft. And then I'm going to add the cabbage in. Make sure the cabbage is washed thoroughly first. nuts that have been soaking for a bit. And I'll add them as well. And a little bit of water. There we go. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> and um I haven't opened the poha yet, so I need to get a pair of scissors and cut this open. The poha you put in last. So, um, so apart from that, we're just going to stir it in and let it do its funky let thing. Let it do its thing. Let's do its thing. And I like to season it with um, some basil because I just like the taste of basil. And then it's strange to have it in the morning, but why not? So it's about a ladle mm -hmm. with basil, and then I'm just kind of mix it up with the basil and let the water soften the apples and nuts, and cashew nuts, and cabbage. So it's got cashew nuts, cabbage, apples, and then it's going to have um, raisins as well, which is mm -hmm. tons. So you add the sweetness too. Lovely. And when that's actually soaked up, I'm Asian style on the floor. <laughs> At least we can cook, though. That's a thing. And the electricity here is so um, unreliable. It goes on, it goes off, and you just have to make do with what you've got. And um, hopefully, that when you're cooking, it doesn't go off. And if it does, we just have a different approach and we think, oh well, let's just let it marinate. Because then when it does marinate, it actually does taste a lot nicer or it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot more wholesome. So you've got to look at the positive side. We've been stuck here in India. We've learned the lesson of gratitude <laughs> and acceptance and letting go of stuff that we can't control. After it is all. what it is. <laughs> exactly. After all, that's what it means to be a yogi, right? And that's part of my journey. So. I think the universe is really teaching me to let go of stuff that I can't control. But we're getting out soon, so that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward to some form of normality where internet speed is better and I can, act oh this is salt by the way, and I can actually get on with um, my life because I've had to um, disconnect or let go of a lot of students that I've been teaching online because um, the internet is just so unreliable here. So it takes us about you know, three minute video I put up, 
takes us about most of the day mm. to put up. So we're lucky that we've got the content that we have got up. At the yes. So, you know, it's not bad considering. So I am grateful for that. You just have to find the right time. And I heard it's 3 o'clock in the morning. But, I, yeah, I, my mind is not awake at that time. Right, now, finally, the poor heart comes in. So this is red rice poha. It's much more nutritious compared to the white rice poha, and um, it's kind of like whole, some brown, that sort of thing. So it's obviously better to use. Obviously a bit more pricier, but it's better, and that's what matters. Not that much more pricier. It's about two equivalent to two pounds seventy or two pounds eighty. Lasts quite a long time. It does last a long time, and if you're mixing it like I am with a lot of other stuff, then it's um. Look at that. It looks really, really lovely. I'm just going to lower the temperature a little bit so to let that cook itself. There we go, that looks nice. So that's going to be my breakfast. It's got greens for the cabbage, it's got apples, which is fruit, it's got basil, which is nice for flavours, and um, it's got raisins. And, and once this is done, I'm then going to dish it out and then add the peanut butter in, which is going to make it really, really filling. Mm -hmm. And this is good. This is my breakfast. It usually means I don't need to eat lunch because I'm going to get brunch. Okay, I think it's done. Yay! And we managed. Now we're going to unplug the socket with the cooker. <laughs> and <laughs> the fridge back in. The fridge back in because we only um, have one socket in the kitchen that actually is reliable, and that's the one. So, there we go. Now, just empty that dish. We just really literally make do. And the fact that we've been able to be creative is pretty awesome. So it does bring out the creative part of us having limitations. One has to adapt and think about different options and different ways of making things work for you, really. So there you go. That's my bracky. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to mix that up with some. Peanut butter. Now this peanut butter is pretty much, uh, it's not really 100%, but it hasn't got any added sugar, which is what we want. It's got, um, it's got some rock salt, which is fine. So, um, move that out of the way. <laughs> this peanut butter. So it's got rock salts and it's got cinnamon. So it's actually it's very, and it's 100%, apart from the rock salts and cinnamon. Yeah, always use 100%. It. Always use 100%. Because the others have so sugar I'm going to put sorts of stuff. that amount in. Okay. Look at that go in. Ooh, it's like chocolate, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the runny stuff. The runny stuff is good. It's good to mix in. So then we just mix it in. We're about a, a spoon, a spoon's worth. And obviously if you want more, you can always add more in. But this makes it thicker and much more richer and then after that, and also much more gloopy. <laughs> and um, after that I'm going to add my um, seeds. I love these power seeds. seeds. They keep me full all day and this is what I always add. It's Some flower and pumpkin and chia mainly, isn't it? Yeah, and flaxseed. Flax flax seed well. well. So it's really good for the digestion too, which is an issue that I've been having. So I get omega-3 and protein omega in there. You've also got your protein, protein, your peanut butter. Exactly. Uh, and and so, the power as well. here we go. So that should stop you There it is. Voila. Mm. That is my dish. And that is me, and I'm going to enjoy this. I've waited so long today to eat this, so I'm actually really, really hungry, and I'm going to go enjoy it. So thank you for joining me, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the alert button so that you can get updates, and keep following us. Namaste from Rishikesh.